Hey there, my name is Kat Lucy, and welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. This is the fifth episode of this playthrough. If you've missed any episodes, please feel free to check out the playlist dedicated to this series, which you can find over on my channel. And for all who are ready for this episode, let's dive right back into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. So, last episode we left off with a new team member, and I have taken the liberty to go ahead and train this bad boy up to level 19. So not exactly uh, up to speed with the other two, 21, 22, but uh, I think that's the sweet spot because it, it's close enough, right, to true level difference. And I don't want to over level for the next gym leader because we're already pretty high levels. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep going with uh, Catastrophe moving forward. And uh, we'll just level him up a little bit, give him some experience, some screen time. Hello, Cheryl. I'm back. <laughs> I am back. Let's hang out. Oh, hi, Catalyst. Have you waiting? Like I said, let's go through this forest together. So we are going to accompany Cheryl. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. So let's not go through here. Let's go through here. So, yeah. Less of a chance of a battle. Uh, and we don't have to go too far until we're back. Yeah, this is about where we left off. So, trainer tips. In forests and caves, there are many items on the ground that can't be seen in the murky darkness. Take time to search diligently. So we already got the item that was there. Uh, let us take a look, see if there's something over here. Anything? Doesn't look like it. Let's have ourselves a battle. Meditate and Sida. This forest is strange, you know. It seems to fill me with energy. Lots of psychics here. A strange presence has been felt. It is emanating from you. Are they psychics? The other two were psychics. There were two psychics with Abra's. Oh yeah. Psychic Rachel. And Psychic Cody. Meditate and Psyduck. Cheryl. Alright, we are going to use Wing Attack on the Meditate because it is part fighting. Take that out with a clean one hit. Critical hit. Unnecessary. You don't gotta show off Catastrophe. 133 XP is a very sweet. Okay, Psyduck's confused. Gonna use Water Pulse anyway. And confused me, right? Oh my goodness, I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> and then Catastrophe hits himself in his confusion. This is insane. But... As Cheryl said, living up to her words, gonna keep me nice and healthy. Nice. You hit yourself too. Dang, really? But I avoided. Snapped out, that's right you did. You go, Catastrophe. Sweet little life too. Would've been nice to attack, but I'll take the life too. Very sweet, Cheryl. Uh, and let's use Astonish to end this fight. So what else have I been up to between the episodes? I've picked a whole bunch of berries. I replanted berries several times, and I should actually even check on some of my berries at the end of this episode or after I uh, complete this episode. Your victory, there's nothing strange about it. I like the clothes of the psychics. Oh, be one with me, my Meditite. I also like the hair on the uh, female Psychic. Very nice. I'm kind of sad. I don't want to let go of Cheryl. Like, I like her so much. 
Oh, this hurts. But you gotta say goodbye, you know? Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Catlisi. Cheryl, I'll miss you. We persist. Anything down here? No. <laughs> Strange. To sit back and fish casually. It's a grown-up's hobby. And you're gonna want to fight. I landed myself a feisty trainer. Let's go. Uh, this is Fisherman Joseph. Josephine! Centel Goldine! <laughs> Let's go, Catastrophe. You see those nice golden, uh, not golden, those nice dark hearts, the black hearts, coming from that ball capsule. I think I got some smoke, too. It looks so nice. Alright, we're gonna receive a peck for a wing attack. Uh, and we'll just use one more wing attack. There we go. Goldine is down. Do you have any more Pokemon? Or is that it? One or three? One, you're the easiest. I let a big win slip away. I kind of like the look of the fisherman in this uh, remaster. Nothing's biting, so I could use a break, I suppose. We'll get this one out of the way, fisherman Andrew. Six match carps. Oh, some things never change. All right, all right. Go catastrophe. What level? 10. Can I use... Let's just go wing attack. Make sure that we take them out in one clean hit. <clears throat> I don't believe any of his Pokemon can even hit me. Maybe he's got a level 16 or 2. Match card level 10. Can only splash. Another Magikarp, <laughs> level 10. Who thought this was a good idea? Like really, who thought this was a good idea? I wish she had 5 Magikarp and a Gyarados, right? Just that one level 20 Gyarados at the very end of the battle. That would be great. Maybe you can rematch him later with the, um, is there a, uh, what is it called, Poke Radar? Or the Battle, ba Battle Finder or something? I hope they still have that in this game. And I hope that he levels up his Magikarp and evolves them and just has six Gyarados, that would be great. Oh, and actually we got level 20 with, uh, with Catastrophe here. I didn't even notice. Here I am just speaking and kind of looking away from the screen as I do that. I was looking at my microphone. They were all level 10, weren't they? Gee, my guy. Oh, well, I should have been a little more serious about this. Should you have now? You! I fished up some tough Pokemon, let's have ourselves a battle. Two Magikarp and a Goldeen? Three Pokemon, Fisher, Zachary. Ah, uh, starting with a Magikarp. Might be three Magikarp, honestly. I love Catastrophe so much. Murkrow's such a cutie. Goldeen! Nice! Show me that Goldeen. Level 13, too. That's gonna be some experience right there. Woo! Took a hit. He's gonna peck at me. Peck, peck, peck. Astonish. Astonishing!
And one more match card. Ah, uh, wing attack that level 10 match card. Why are they all level 10? You can't level them up? You don't have your experience share on? Turn it on, boy. I can't even turn mine off. Losing has my emotions all knotted up. Look at the arms on his, uh, the arms, hairs on his arms, the arms on his hairs, right? The hairs on his arms. Do 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 do. Potion. Uh, and then we'll go up here and get these berries. What are they? Orin? Two Orin berries. Nice, nice, nice. So actually, this is awesome. Four patches of dirt in a row. Because I don't want to be planting berries all over the place. I just want to be planting berries wherever I'm sticking around for the most part. So I'm going to start planting them here instead of back in Floroma Town. Because that's where all of my berries are right now. Uh, before you turn a forest. Nice. Turn a city. That's some cute music right there. I like it. I like it. Very calming. It feels great riding a bike with the wind in your face, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. Hey you, yeah, you, trainer. Er, it's okay, never mind. You looked off. I won't um I won't take. I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on. My friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokemon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team Galactic looks so cool. They don't look like common ruffians. Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built instantly. So that's a new building. Cool. Oh! Oh, here she is! Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello Cat Lucy. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer, just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternity City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to Mitt, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. I doubt that the TM for Cut will help me in any way. But that will help me. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your Pokech in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then, luck be with you, young trainer. She's so cute. I love her. Her and Cheryl have got to be, have got to be my two favorite women in this game. They're so cool and pretty. <laughs> I want to play as either of them, not Dawn. <laughs> Imagine if you could, though. <laughs> Imagine having choice between, like, three different trainers for your for your trainer. That would be so much fun, so cool. Team Galactic took my Pokemon away. They took our people's too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic creeps everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokemon? Nothing, because they didn't take your Pokemon. They're way too cool for that, haven't you heard? Hi, you cute little trainer. What kinds of Pokemon are with you? This Pokechap will show you how close your Pokemon feel to you. Friendship checker. Comes in handy. I might need it. I don't know if I need it, to be honest. When a Pokemon faints, use a revive on Pokemon. It'll be able to battle again. Yep, I know that. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. You know what? I might as well... No, we'll keep that for later. We'll keep that one house for later, so yeah. Team Galactic, turn to building. We want your Pokémon. That's not creepy. Right? That's not creepy. Hello! Welcome to the Drug Shop, home of effective yet inexpensive drugs. I'm here to buy drugs. Heal Powder. Can I snort it? 
Purple meds work most impressively, but your Pokemon won't like them. They're horribly bitter and smelly. So weed here too. Someone ought to invent herbal medicine that isn't bitter. That would be a medical very true. Alright, we'll keep this dispensary in mind. In case we ever need one. They say this is a Pokemon that lived long, long ago. Does it now? This is Dialga, right? There is some writing on the Pokemon statue. Dia, once created, brought time into being. In laughter or in tears, the same time flows. Such is the blessing of Dia. Text is barely legible and has faded completely in places. In places, eh? So wherever it's supposed to say Dialga? It says Dia instead, that's it? Hey, you there, kids! Stay away from that Pokémon statue! Team Galactic's conducting an official investigation here. You can't claim that you're just conducting an official investigation. Eterna came to be long ago in honor of an ancient Pokémon. Though many things have changed, what is important has not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Have you seen a Pokémon statue? When I was a wee child, it used to be the centerpiece of many festivals. You know what? I think their house and just what they have going on here is really fucking cute. When I grow older, I want to be in a situation like this where I just have my house, like, on the outskirts of town. Just, like, in the nicest spot next to the town's, like, old statue. <laughs> just a humble little house. Turn a city. History living. Can you believe it? No hidden items? Okay. Let's head out this way. Route 211. Now yeah, I know there are hidden items here. Ooh, Meditite. Go Catastrophe. Ah, uh, just run. We are not going to be gaining any extra experience from wild battles. That is not going to happen. So we got a Pokeball. Was there something in this? Do I have a Repel? Well, we got some new Pokemon to add to the, to the Pokedex here anyway. I like to fill in the pages, at least the image. So, actually, that that reminds me. I actually want to say I'm thinking about um in my own time. Time. Oh, Ninja Kid. So in my own time, I think I might go ahead and just collect whatever Pokemon I can from the past routes and add those pages to my Pokedex. And maybe, you know, once we're done the game, we can actually go through the whole Pokedex, look at it. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> but I definitely want to fill in the pages, so I might do that in my own time. So maybe I'll gain a level or two by doing that. Uh, I'll try not to, so we'll see, we'll see. Zubat, doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? You know, a good idea would be to catch one Pokemon and then keep that Pokemon from my party while I'm catching other Pokemon, then like put my actual tree Pokemon in the PC while I do that, so that they don't gain any experience. Because it may be just a little experience per Pokemon, but that is going to add up real fast. Maybe I'll even keep a Zubat at the front, because it evolves with friendship. Well, Golbat does. Two Zubat! This kid really likes Zubat. All of your Zubats are gonna suffer the same fate, my boy. All of them. One more Zubat. Look at all these Zubats. This kid is cracked for Zubats. Zubat's cool. I honestly I don't understand the hate for Zubat. Cause when people talk about caves, oh my Zubat Tri-Stars. That's cute. The Zubat Tri-Stars. And he gave me weed money! 420! He knows what's up. The dispensary is just down the street. He gave me weed money. <laughs> Hello there. See how, how Mount Coronet towers above us. I want to be like that one day. Now I was saying something, but I forget what I was saying. 
You were challenged by Hiker Louie. Geodude. Oh yeah, the hate for Zubats. Right? So people make the connection, right? Like caves, encounters and caves with Zubats. But I see Geodude just as much as I see Zubat. He's in every fucking cave he is. So honestly, why hate Zubat? Zubat is much cooler. First off, Crobat. Crobat is such a cool Pokemon. Golem? He's alright, but like Crobat's much better, right? Don't many more people like Crobat than those who like Golem? I'm pretty sure there are more Crobat fans out there than there are Golem fans. Like, why doesn't anyone ever call Geodude a pesk? Oh, this is no good. I hope I'm faster. I've got to be faster, come on. Hestu, Hestu, my girl. Oh, that's it. I knew you could do it. Take that Geodude down. Onyx, keep going. I love this background. Like, sure, it could be improved, um, you know, graphically, but it's nice. It's nice. The colors... It's really nice. And just all those boulders and the trees, and you can tell we're on, like, a clifftop. It's really, really pretty. A powerful presence towers before me. It's you. Like, I really like that. That's so pleasant to look at. Let's go this way. Our first bird keeper! <laughs> Look at these beautiful wings. You're challenged by bird keeper Alexandra. Look at that hair. She's got like bird hair going on like wings. That's cool. I like the bird cage and the um, the uh, purse she has around her waist or bag. Ah, uh, just swing attack. That's the best you can do. Woo! So one shot, level 19. Where are you coming from with a level 19 hoot hoot? Seriously? So we got two levels here. Will Aurora learn anything? No. <laughs> But, Catastrophe will learn something soon. Oh, you, I'm going to peck you for that. And there's an item down here. A TM, right? Oh, Taunt. Okay. You know, it could have been better, but <laughs> that's okay. So I wonder, TM said I find like this like Taunt and uh, Bullet Seed. Do I only get one during the whole playthrough? Oh, a revive. Yeah, do I only get one of them through my whole playthrough, or can I buy them anywhere? Because I would really like to buy a TM like Taunt, right? So when I do online battles, um, I'm able to actually uh, teach that TM to, to several of my Pokémon. Because that's a TM that could come in handy. Alright, so we're done with that route. Back in Eterna City. First order of business, so we're gonna keep this house for a later time. I was really debating whether I should do this now or later. I'm still debating it. Okay, you know what, you know what, we'll talk to some, some townspeople. And then we'll, we'll see about that, okay? Let's just talk to the townspeople first. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and has returned. I wonder what's holding them up. They say this is an old city. It doesn't look it though. Not with all these tall buildings. Eternity is not anything like it was before, way back in the day. Since that Team Galactic building, when building went up, the city's atmosphere has gotten all creepy and tense. I don't know what those people are doing up in that place. Yeah, it is creepy having a building like that here, isn't it? 
Are you the name raider? Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. I see you, please come visit again. And you do a trade? Weasel for Chatot. That's a pretty good trade for uh, at this point in the game because you can't get Chatot in the wild until much, much later. So that's pretty nice. Hi, I'm the building superintendent. I maintain a vigilant 24 hour watch. Don't sleep? <laughs> Go to bed. Gardenia, our gym leader, goes out to return a forest every so often. I always wonder what she does there. Trash can is empty. I've had these TMs for the move Recycle for such a long time now. They're not anything that I have much use for these days. I do hope you'll put them to good use, young trainer. Recycle, nice. That's fun. Right after I checked their trash can too. Final floor, nice. I gathered up a lot of stickers, so I'm placing them on my bell capsules. I'm this close to being ready for a super contest shows in Heart Home City. There are some sparkling stones lying around in the Grand Underground. Badges from gyms or wins in super contest shows. There's more than just one way to be a winner, it seems. Here's hoping you'll find something which can be the victor. Hooray! My super base just got another great! Is that an online feature? Kinda like Pokemon Snap, right? Where you could like people's pictures. That was a really cool feature to add to Pokemon Snap. I'm so glad they did it. So you can interact with uh, other people online. Since you're visiting Eterna, you need to get yourself a bike and take a ride down Cycling Road. I do. Going underground with the Explorer Kit is a blast, isn't it? There's nobody in this house, right? This is just a weird house with nobody in it. Huh. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go in the gym yet. Can I? Okay. Super potion. Nice. I remember there being something here. I thought it was a TM. So, you know what? We're actually going to go into this house right now. This is the underground, mount uh, underground man's house. So, I'll actually start with this today. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Orberg. I work at the mining museum. I got advice from the underground man on digging up fossils and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They are very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Keep that in mind, and you'll be digging up treasure in no time. How about you? The Grand Underground sure is massive. You're gonna have a blast down there. I am. I am the first one to have started digging out the Grand Underground. I am. You can call me the Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. The Explorer Kit. Use the Explorer Kit from your bag's key items pocket. Visit the Grand Underground. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged spelunker. Just follow my lead. That's what I thought would happen. So we're still getting mentored. Mentored. Mentored? Mentored? Mentored. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply use your Explorer Kit. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. Oh, this is happening on its own. I didn't do that. <laughs> hey, we got Rourke. Hey, Cat Lucy, this is your first time here? Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnels, caves, and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing in this expanse of a place? That's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasure, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eternus City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember, why? I have to get going now. I'll see you around. It's cool you get to talk to Rourke again. Uh, Grand Underground map. They really did this place good. Like, wow. And you can move around while the map's open. Oh my goodness, you can see yourself moving. That's so cool. This is such a glow up. Okay. Uh, go up. 
the music's so good, too. Oh, they made it better than it was originally. Aha! I see that you've gone underground. Well done. Take these as a reward. Red Sphere S. Green Sphere S. There are apparently some Pokémon underground the ground that you can't normally find around here. Meeting a new Pokémon is 100 times more fun when it's a rare one. Your road to being a Spelunker has barely begun. If you want to know more, just come visit me. So I guess we'll do that today. Uh, hopefully there isn't much to do with him, but I do have plans for the Grand Underground- For the Grand Underground, that's so hard for me to say. How is it down in the Grand Underground? Big and empty, I would think. But that's just because you're a novice Spelunker. I love that he calls me a Spelunker. There are many hidden things down there that are invisible to the naked eye. For my next test, I want you to dig up some treasures for me. While underground, check the radar for any spots of yellow light. Go to such a location and search for treasure by pressing, pressing the A button. Okay. Um, whoops, union room. What? <laughs> okay, bag. Let's look at what we got and actually sort some of our items now. These are sorted, right? No, they weren't. Uh, sort my berries. See how many berries I got? <laughs> okay, sort these. Sort these by number for sure. Anything else? TM93, Stardust, I can sell those soon. Uh, register this to here. We'll also register maybe... Nah, I won't use the old rod. Not much anyway. Spray that, don't have to register that. How do you... How do you uh, access registered items? Okay, get out of there. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Wait, what? How do you... I need to figure this out. What? D-register, register. Press the plus button to use it. Ha. Um. Play along. Alright, so you see these shiny parts on the map? The wall is bulging slightly. Would you like to try digging into it? Absolutely. Oh. There is a note tucked inside the explorer kit. Digging for fossils. I've put a sledgehammer and pickaxe in your explorer kit. Use them and you'll be able to dig out all sorts of stuff from the walls. Uh, before the wall comes tumbling down, that is. I'm sure you can do it. Good luck, youngster. So if I press R, I guess I can switch between them. Nice. And then Y, A. A. Very nice, wow. I feel like you get more of a chance at hitting the walls nowadays. Like it doesn't collapse as quickly, I think. Everything was dug up. Nice. Oh, that's cute. Blue sphere large. Prism sphere small. That's a really cute screen right there. I really like that. That's quite cute. Um, we are going to dig just a little bit more. Can I not? Is it here? What? Oh, it's. It's just one area. Something pinged in the wall. What? Oh, nice.
Not so nice. Oh. What's left? What is left here? I don't know, I couldn't find it. Might have been a heart scale. Would have been nice. Blue sphere small, red sphere small, and green sphere large. Okay, let's head back uh, to the overworld. Go up! So do we always go back up to where we came down? Seems like it. Okay, that's cool. Hello, old man. Ah, I see you were able to use your radar effectively. Well done indeed. Here's your reward. Digger drill. Is that to make a base? Dig in the walls of the Grand Underground to unearth hidden things. Treasure you find will go straight into your bag. Spheres of special gems that can be exchanged for goods down there. Now, what should I assign you next? Have you grown wary of repeatedly going back underground? Well, it's not over yet. Next up is your secret base. Nice. That's right, I will teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need is the digger drill I gave you earlier. Simply go to the Grand Underground and use the digger drill where wherever you like. It will instantly create your very own secret base. So, your next assignment is make a secret base. Uh, play alone? Always play alone. We aren't playing with anyone right now, so I actually want to see... How do you open up the map again? Grand Underground Map. There you go. Where do I want to make my base? I kind of want to go... Um, in this higher area here, so let's do that. No! I'm looking for, um... Uh... No, I'm... Okay, maybe we can't get... Oh! Here? Where is it? Okay, well, we can't mine right now. We gotta make our base. <laughs> oh, what can we find here? Murkrow. Oh. Whoops. Well, we're in a battle with Geodude. What level are these Pokemon right now? Go Catastrophe Crow. Level 16. That's a very nice level. Okay, so I don't want a Psyduck. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind taking a look at this right here. Let's take a look at these caverns. Oh, this one's nice. Shinx. Couple of Shinx. Cherubi is here. Ooh. Okay, lots of Shinx. <laughs> this is like a grassy field. It's cute. It's very cute. I like the overworld Pokemon here in the ground underground so I'm actually gonna head to this tip over here whoa what was that why was there a diglet uh, let's head over here I want to see what Pokemon we can find oh that was a mistake I did not mean to do this hello Murkrow do you only encounter Murkrow at night? No, because we're not nighttime right now. It's only 5 p.m. What else is here? Come on. No! Give me variety, not Eterna Forest. Plus Psyduck. Run. Run, 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 run. 
I like to say it out when my cat's uh, got the zoomies and she's running all over the place. I'm like, run, 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 run. <laughs> Doof. No! I got stuck. I don't want to battle you, Veneri. Go away. You're wasting my time. Okay, we're gonna walk out of this cave. No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, so when you check them, the question mark goes away. What's this? Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. Zubat, Krogunk. Normally, you can't get Krogunk at this point. Look at him walk. Oh! So cute. Okay. Uh, we are going to be making our base very soon. I just want to check out this final area here first. It's nice to explore the Grand Underground right now, you know? Kind of have half an episode dedicated to this. Ooh. And there are items, eh? Oh, TMs. At that. Wow. Nice. Very, very nice. Yes, please. Stop running after me. So I'm pretty sure you can just reset uh, these areas by by uh, walking back in them, in and out. So, okay. My base is going to be... Hello? Hello, I'm Samuel. There are all sorts of things buried in the walls of the underground. Sometimes we'll even find treasure. Oh, I want to make my base here, but you kind of creep me out, so... I am going to make my base right here. Yes. Hey, why'd you move over? Seriously? I didn't want it there. I wanted it down the middle. What? Lame. Place a statue. We got three statues, right? Statue list. Yes, we do. I hate that I can't have them, like, centered, you know? Okay, well, Chimchar, go here. Nice, cool. Okay. That's it for now. Uh, actually, I want to check this uh, field area again. Is it the field I want to take a look at? No. Is it? Is it? Let's go through the field, and then we'll check the uh, the one that's like dirt over there. Oh, Shinx. Yeah, it's not the one that I meant to take a look at. We'll take a look at the other one again. This one right here is what I want to take a look at. want to see what I can find in here. Other than Psyduck. Mm. Because I believe there are some interesting Pokemon that you can find in the Grand Underground, even uh, just as you begin your adventure down here. Pokemon that aren't normally found in the original Diamond and Pearl, but rather in the remakes. What was up there? Not the remakes, but the, uh, the last version, Platinum. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go up. Are we? 
Let's go down here. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one last spot, or maybe the two spots that are nearby, right? So there's one here and there's one a little more north. Whoa. So I don't think I'm gonna find anything too cool. Oh, Magnemite! There you go. That's, that's a cool one. You don't normally find that in Diamond or Pearl. I believe that one is uh, just in Platinum, so that's cool. What's over here? What is over here? Uh, this is another Fountain Spring Cave. Whoa, Shellos, no! You get stuck so easily. Go, oh, Catastrophe. Catastrophe Crow. Run. Run from this battle. Okay, we're gonna head back up now. That's what we're gonna do. Go up. Yes, I would like to go back up to the surface. And I would like to talk to the old man. So let's go in. Hello! Ah, you've made your secret base? Excellent! I thought I might have been asking too much of you, but you did it! Well done! Take these as your reward. Okay, quick balls. Dusk balls? Dive balls? By the by, a digger drill can only be used once. If you wish to move your secret base, you'll need to obtain another digger drill. You can trade spheres for one underground. Uh, now! What should I have you do next? What should you have me do next? You've made yourself a secret base, yes, but it's totally empty, is it not? No, I put statues. Not to worry, you can place statues in your own secret base as you see fit. I already did it! So, for my next test, I want you to decorate your secret base. Set up statues in there as you like. Aha! You managed to decorate your secret base and you organized a top-notch spelunker in you. Well done, this is your reward. Square pedestal x small. I oh, stuck it out to the end. This will be my final test. Okay, the Grand Underground uh, attracts lots of people. You're not the only one down there. Other spelunkers have secret bases of their own. Your final test is to find someone else's secret base. When you do, make sure to look inside. Is that something I can do right now? Internet? Sh should I? We're just gonna play alone for now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. So what's this cave called? The Spacious Cave. Oh, Swablu's here. That's cool. Okay, well I might as well stop trying to hide it. There is actually a Pokemon I am looking for, and it should be readily available right now in the spacious cave. So you know what? For the end of this episode, we're just gonna keep looking for this Pokemon. Because I want to have this Pokemon for my fight with Gardenia. Okay, walk back in, uh, and the Pokemon should be refreshed, sure looks like it. We got a Murkrow, we got a Badoo over here, we got Murkrow down here, we've got Rhyhorn! <gasps> that's so cool, it's not Rhyhorn, but that's a really cool Pokemon to find. Close, though. You know what? I feel like we're getting closer, so let's keep looking. Refresh. Psyduck. Okay, what's up here? There's a Zubat. Lickitung. Yo, there's some cool Pokemon here, for real. Refresh. It's fun to just see what Pokemon there are here, honestly. 
I love this. We got a Shinx. We got a Zubat. Anything down here? But do. That's not what we want. It's so awkward moving around because you get stuck on every wall around you. Like, really stuck. It's hard to move. Lots of Psyduck. Oh, there it is! There it is! Houndoom! <laughs> this is the Pokemon I want! Oh, it's beautiful! Houndoom! Mm, I love you, Houndoom! So... I think I said at the beginning of this playthrough, my first ever Pokemon game was actually... Let's use Wing Attack, we won't take it down. No shot. My first ever Pokemon game was actually Pokemon Ranger. That was my first ever Pokemon game of any variety, right? And if you didn't know, in the original Pokemon Ranger, you start at this, uh, at this like, pier, right? Um, and you have to help out your, the Pokemon that's going to be your partner Pokemon uh, soon enough. But that partner Pokemon of yours is actually being attacked by a Houndoom. So this is one of the first Pokemon I've ever seen. Well, in a Pokemon game that I've played. Oh, <gasps> Catastrophe Crow! No! Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Hestu, come on out. Wow, he's got a good move in Thunderfang. Pokeball. I don't have Stun Spore anymore, do I? Oh my god. This guy, Thunderfang, avoid it with your snout. You don't even have a snout. <laughs> um, I don't have any moves to uh, to give a status effect. I wish I kept Stun Spore now. He is feisty. Oh, he's so feisty. He or she? I don't even have a name for Houndoom yet. <gasps> she. Okay, she's a cute girl, Houndoom. You know what we might do? We actually came across that name raider, right? So I might not give a name to Houndoom yet. Oh, yes! We're definitely not giving a name yet. We're just gonna keep Houndoom as Houndoom. And, uh... Nice. No. Uh, I'll actually nickname her at the start of the next episode, okay? So we'll start our episode. We will start our next episode. Um... In that building with the name raider. That's what we're gonna do. And we will nickname our lovely newly caught Houndoom. Let's take a look at her. Level 19. I don't even think we need to uh, raise her at all. She's ready to go. Like spicy food. Lonely nature. No. Girl, no. <laughs> Well, you got, you got Thunderfang, right? You do. You have Thunderfang and Bite, so that's good for now. You could be a mixed attacker. You could. You could be a mixed attacker. Look at you. You got good special attack. Real good special attack. You got good attack, but it's a shame that you're losing defense for attack. If it were defense for special attack, I'd be a little more open to it. But just losing that defense sucks. <laughs> Straight up, it sucks. Alright, what are we going to do now? Let's actually uh, go underground one last time. We're going to try to find a secret base with the internet on. I assume that's what he means, right? We'd like to enter the Grand Underground. Yes, we'll save. You're now connected to the internet. Awesome! Oh, I love Houndoom so much. I'm so glad I got a Houndoom. How can I find the base? <clears throat> like, is it just gonna be, like, open here? I have the internet connected. Oh! We're losing frame rates. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's go up. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here. 
<laughs> We're not gonna play like this. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed the episode, and subscribe if you would like to see more of my content. I wish you all a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Peace!